Understanding words is what you really need to start doing. You need to start doing your homework and understanding words. If you put an S in front of words, it becomes swords. And that's what words are. They are cutting. They can cause you great trouble. Humans are word control creatures. So we need to establish what words mean. When we talk about law, there's a Roman maximum in law that says, for he that would be deceived, let him. Simply meaning, if you are so ignorant as to be deceived, then that's your business, that's your problem. So you need to do your homework and find out what the words mean, especially in relation to law and government. Crimes Act 1961 Section 2 Interpretation 1. In this act, unless the context otherwise requires. Aerodrome has the same meaning as in the Civil Aviation Act 1990. Aircraft has the same meaning as in the Civil Aviation Act 1990, and includes any aircraft for the time being used as an aircraft of any of the armed forces of any country other than New Zealand. Assault means the act of intentionally applying or attempting to apply force to the person of another, directly or indirectly, or threatening by any act or gesture to apply such force to the person of another, if the person making the threat has, or causes the other to believe on reasonable grounds that he has, present ability to effect his purpose, and to assault has a corresponding meaning. Claim of right. In relation to any act, means a belief at the time of the act in a proprietary or possessory right in property in relation to which the offense is alleged to have been committed, although that belief may be based on ignorance or mistake of fact or of any matter of law other than the enactment against which the offense is alleged to have been committed. Commonwealth country means a country that is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations, and includes every territory for whose international relations the government of any such country is responsible. Commonwealth ship means a ship registered or required to be registered in any Commonwealth country, or recognized by the law of any Commonwealth country as a ship belonging to that country, and includes any ship for the time being used as a ship of any of the armed forces of any Commonwealth country. Constable has the meaning given in Section 4 of the Policing Act 2008. Crime means an offense for which the offender may be proceeded against by indictment. Crime involving dishonesty means any crime described in Part 10 except the crimes described in Sections 267 to 272. Criminally responsible means liable to punishment for an offense. Day, or daytime, means the interval between 6 o'clock in the morning of any day and 9 o'clock at night of the same day. Depositions. Includes written statements admitted in evidence at the standard committal or the committal hearing under section 162 of the Summary Proceedings Act 1957, and statements made under section 164 of that act and admitted in evidence at the standard committal or read in evidence at the committal hearing. Firearm has the same meaning as in the Arms Act 1983. For a material benefit, in relation to doing a thing, means a. after having obtained a material benefit for doing the thing, or b. intending to obtain a material benefit for doing the thing. Foreign ship means a ship that is not a commonwealth ship. Genitalia includes a surgically constructed or reconstructed organ analogous to naturally occurring male or female genitalia, whether the person concerned is male, female, or of indeterminate sex. Is liable. Means is liable on conviction on indictment. Judge, in relation to a district court, or district court judge means a judge who holds a warrant under Section 28B of the District Courts Act 1947 to conduct trials on indictment, and in Section 399 of this Act includes any other district court judge. Justified, in relation to any person, means not guilty of an offense and not liable to any civil proceeding. Medical practitioner means a health practitioner who is, or is deemed to be, registered with the Medical Council of New Zealand continued by Section 114, 1, A, of the Health Practitioner's Competence Assurance Act 2003 as a practitioner of the profession of medicine. New Zealand 
includes all waters within the outer limits of the Territorial Sea of New Zealand, as defined by Section 3 of the Territorial Sea, Contiguous Zone and Exclusive Economic Zone Act 1977. New Zealand includes all waters within the outer limits of the Territorial Sea of New Zealand, as defined by Section 3 of the Territorial Sea, Contiguous Zone and Exclusive Economic Zone Act 1977. New Zealand Aircraft means any aircraft that is registered or required to be registered in New Zealand under the Civil Aviation Act 1990, and includes any aircraft for the time being used as an aircraft of the New Zealand Forces. New Zealand Forces means the New Zealand Naval Forces, the New Zealand Army, and the Royal New Zealand Air Force. New Zealand Ship means a ship registered in New Zealand, or recognized by the law of New Zealand as a ship belonging to New Zealand, and includes any ship for the time being used as a ship of the New Zealand Forces. Night, or night time, means the interval between 9 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the following morning. Obtain a material benefit, in relation to doing a thing, means obtain, directly or indirectly, any goods, money, pecuniary advantage, privilege, property, or other valuable consideration of any kind for doing the thing, or taking an action that forms part of doing the thing. Offense means any act or omission for which anyone can be punished under this act or under any other enactment, whether on conviction on indictment or on summary conviction. Penis includes a surgically constructed or reconstructed organ analogous to a naturally occurring penis, whether the person concerned is male, female, or of indeterminate sex. Person, owner, and other words and expressions of the like kind, include the crown and any public body or local authority, and any board, society, or company, and any other body of persons, whether incorporated or not, and the inhabitants of the district of any local authority, in relation to such acts and things as it or they are capable of doing or owning. Person, owner, and other words and expressions of the like kind, include the crown and any public body or local authority, and any board, society, or company, and any other body of persons, whether incorporated or not, and the inhabitants of the district of any local authority, in relation to such acts and things as it or they are capable of doing or owning. Prison manager means the manager of a prison. Property includes real and personal property, and any estate or interest in any real or personal property, money, electricity, and any debt, and anything in action, and any other right or interest. Prosecutor means a. a crown solicitor, b. in relation to a crown prosecution, the attorney general, c. in relation to a private prosecution, the private prosecutor. Protected from criminal responsibility means not liable to any proceedings except a civil proceeding. Registrar a. for the purposes of part 12, means any registrar of the trial court, and includes any deputy registrar of that court, b. For any other purpose, means any registrar of the High Court or of a District Court, as the case may require, and includes any deputy registrar. Serious violent offense. Means any offense. A. That is punishable by a period of imprisonment for a term of seven years or more, and, B. Where the conduct constituting the offense involves. I. Loss of a person's life or serious risk of loss of a person's life, or, 2. Serious injury to a person or serious risk of serious injury to a person, or, 3. Serious damage to property in circumstances endangering the physical safety of any person, or, 4. Perverting the course of justice, where the purpose of the conduct is to prevent, seriously hinder, or seriously obstruct the detection, investigation, or prosecution of any offense. a. That is punishable by a period of imprisonment for a term of seven years or more, and, b that involved, involves, or would involve conduct of the kind referred to in any of subparagraphs, i, 2, 3, sexual connection. Means. a. Connection affected by the introduction into the genitalia or anus of one person, otherwise than for genuine medical purposes, of. i, a part of the body of another person, or, 2, 
an object held or manipulated by another person, or, b, connection between the mouth or tongue of one person, and a part of another person's genitalia or anus, or, c, the continuation of connection of a kind described in paragraph, a, or paragraph, b. Ship. Means every description of vessel used in navigation, however propelled, and includes any barge, lighter, dinghy, raft, or like vessel, and also includes any ship belonging to or used as a ship of the armed forces of any country, Supreme Court. Means the Supreme Court of New Zealand established by Section 6 of the Supreme Court Act 2003. Territorial waters, in relation to any country other than New Zealand, means such part of the sea adjacent to the coast of that country as is within the territorial sovereignty of that country, and includes ports, harbours, rivers, and other places in which at the commencement of this act the Admiralty of England has jurisdiction, whether exclusive or not, in respect of offences of any kind committed on board Commonwealth ships. To injure. Means to cause actual bodily harm. Trial judge. Means. A. If the accused has been committed to the High Court for trial and the case has not been transferred to the District Court for trial under Section 184Q of the Summary Proceedings Act 1957, a High Court judge, b. If the accused has been committed to the District Court for trial or the case has been transferred to that court for trial under Section 184Q of the Summary Proceedings Act 1957, and the court has jurisdiction in the matter under Section 28A of the District Courts Act 1947, a. District Court judge. Unlawful act means a breach of any act, regulation, rule, or bylaw. Vulnerable adult, for the purposes of sections 151, 195, and 195A, means a person unable, by reason of detention, age, sickness, mental impairment, or any other cause, to withdraw himself or herself from the care or charge of another person. 1A, for the purposes of paragraph, A, of the definition in subsection. 1, of sexual connection, Introduction to the slightest degree is enough to effect a connection. 1b, for the purposes of this act, one person does an indecent act on another person whether he or she. a, does an indecent act with or on the other person, or, b, induces or permits the other person to do an indecent act with or on him or her. 2, when it is provided in this act that anyone is liable to any punishment for doing or omitting any act, every person doing or omitting that act is, subject to the provisions of this act, guilty of a crime. 3. Meaning of convicted on indictment. For the purposes of this act, a person shall be deemed to be convicted on indictment if a. He pleads guilty on indictment, or b. He is found guilty on indictment, or c. He is committed to the High Court for sentence under Section 44 or Section 160 or 184J of the Summary Proceedings Act 1957, or d. After having been committed for trial, he pleads guilty under Section 321. 4. Meaning of ordinarily resident in New Zealand. For the purposes of this Act, a person shall be deemed to be ordinarily resident in New Zealand. If a. His home is in New Zealand, or b. He is residing in New Zealand with the intention of residing therein indefinitely, or c. Having resided in New Zealand with the intention of establishing his home therein, or with the intention of residing in New Zealand indefinitely, he is outside New Zealand but has an intention to return to establish his home therein or to reside in New Zealand indefinitely. Understanding law and the words of law, there are two things that this planet has. Water and earth, water and land. Consequently, there are two kinds of law, the law of the land and the law of water. You've heard the term law of the land, but in point of fact, that's precisely what this word means, law of the land, because it is the people who live on land. And that is opposed to something else called the law of the high seas, or the law of water. You need to understand the difference. The law of water is referred to as the law of money. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you're from, or where you live. Money is money. And any time you're doing banking or using money, you are now under the law of water, maritime admiralty.